Sectional views. What is a sectional view? You might ask. Today we'll be going to 10 multiple choice questions on this topic and I'm going to explain to you briefly what a sectional view is. Okay. All right. Let's go. <music> What is a sectional view? A sectional view or a section looks inside of an object. So if you have a 3D object and you want to see what's going on inside of the object, you want to know the measurements, you want to know um, how it works, um, you use um, a sectional view to do that. And here you have an example on the right hand side of what a sectional um, view would look like. What you're doing is cutting out the object so you can see the insides of the um, the workings, the insides or the workings of the objects. Um, sections are used to clarify the interior construction of a part that cannot be clearly described by hidden lines. So um, sometimes you have hidden lines on your drawings, but it's not actually showing um, clearly what's going on in the construction or in the, um, the path, okay? All right, so that's what a sectional view is for. All right, what are the types of sectional views, you might ask? A full section, you have seven different types of sections. You have the full section, half view. Um, you have the offset view, revolving view, broken view, and remove view. And I'm going to go through, by the end of the video, you, you should know what all um, the different types of views shown here um, are, okay? Try and remember them and know the differences between the two of them, okay? So the one that I want you to know, uh, first of all, is the full section. And let's say you have an imaginary cutting plane um, passing through an entire object and splitting down that object. Um, the full section would be what you see in two dimension, okay? So the first question says, this type of section is limited by a break line. Is it a remove section, as you can see here? And the remove section is when you cut the section or you have your cutting plane going down the object, you remove the cutting or the, the plane that you have just cut and you take it out of the object, okay? So that would be a remove section because you're removing it from the object. Um, the other one is the revolve section. So the revolve section stays um, on the same plane of the object, but it is rotated or it is revolved um, um, in a different direction so that you can see it in two dimension. Okay. A broken out section would be, this would be an example where you break off, not literally, but you take out piece of um, the object so you can actually see the inner workings of that object okay and then in the last one you have the half section where you take out a portion and you might it might look like you're taking out a quarter of the section but it's called a half section because you're taking out half of each axis the x and the y axis of that um, object okay so it's called a half section so the question asks um, this type of section is limited by a break line so the answer would be the broken out section because all the others do not have any break line except um, the broken out section where you have, let me pull up my laser pointer, where you have the break line right here, okay? And you can see it here, you will see that there in um, two dimensions, all right? So number two says now, drafters should use a dash. What type of line should drafter use, drafters use in a sectional view? of a mechanical part that includes a cylindrical view of a threaded hole, okay? So let's say you have um, a cylinder, a threaded hole, and it's in the shape of a cylinder. Um, what type of line would you use um, to show uh, the measurements of the threaded hole? And the answer would be a center line because you want to since it's a circle, you want to show the center of the circle because all the other sides would be um, the same dimension or the same radius um, from the center, okay? So I, in the previous videos, we showed the different types of lines. And as you can see here, this is a center line that should be used where you have 
the longer line, the shorter line, and then the longer line. Okay, so you want to use a center line to illustrate that that is the center of the um the section. Okay, and here you have two other different examples horizontally. Uh, you have your center line going to the external thread, and you have the center line going to the internal thread. Okay, all right. Number three now says the section view drawing in which one fourth of an object, as you can see, one fourth of an object has been marked for removal, is known as a dash section. So, which type of section would this be called? Okay. And just in the previous um, slide, you will see that this would be called a half section, okay? It won't be called a quarter section, even though it looks like a quarter of the object is being taken out, okay? Remember that the half comes from the axis that it, it is being um, cut, okay? So if you're cutting in the x-axis and the y-axis, you're cutting half of each, okay? So it's, it will be called a half section, okay? All right. Number four says in offset sections, and this is an example of an offset section where the plane doesn't run straight through, okay? It starts here, and then it is offset up a little bit, and then it goes across again. So the question asks, in offset sections, offsets or bends in the cutting plane are all how many degrees okay so if you look between the two planes you have one plane here and one plane here um the offsets or the bends would be at a certain angle and this angle would be 90 degrees so you have 90 degrees here 90 degrees here and uh, that would be the angle that you use for offsets um in sections if you're going to use an offset section okay all right, so the answer would be 90 degrees, and here you have another example of an offset section where you start here, you off, you take the bend, or you make the offset, which is 90 degrees, come across, 90 degrees again, 90 degrees, and then you go across. And this will show um, the different holes that are in this object and how it works. So if you look at this section, it would look like they are all in the same plane or, or on the same plane but they have three different planes that I use to show the information. And the information is very clearly shown, and it is more in, you know, more in order of the, um, the drawing, okay? On the drawing. All right, so number five, when filling an area with a hatch pattern, uh, another name for a hatch pattern would be a shaded pattern. In AutoCAD, the drafter needs to be able to dash. Would he want to see the entire bounding area to hatch? Would he want to set his auto on? Would he want to turn his ISO grid or isometric grid off? Or would he want he or she wanna um, set the layers to definite points? Okay, and this is an example of a hatch pattern where the pads that are being cut, and this is the section line or the cutting plane. And if you cut this and remove this area. Um, this is what you will see, okay? So the hatches are the parts where the cuts happen, okay? So if you look at it, there's a circle here, and this is the circle right here. So you won't see um, um, any hatches happening uh, where the circle is because you're seeing this curve right here, which is a solid piece. This, pa this part right here hasn't been cut, so you won't need to hatch it. Only the parts that have been cut um, needs the hatching or the shaded area. Okay, so in order to draw the hatches, you would need to see the entire bounding area to hatch. In AutoCAD, you won't be able to hatch um, any drawing or shade any drawing if you don't have a totally bounded or totally closed area. So if you look here, you see lines that are connected to each other, and up here, you see the lines that are connected to each other. If they are any spaces between the lines, you won't be able to hatch. If you can try and try and try, you won't be able to uh, hatch the object, okay? So the answer would be you have to see the entire bounding area to hatch it, okay? Okay, so number six says to avoid having to dimension to a hidden feature, the drafter can utilize a dash section. To avoid having to dimension to a hidden feature, the drafter can utilize a dash section. 
okay so which section would the drafter has have to utilize if you want to get rid of the hidden line feature basically okay and the answer would be all of the above because the basic point of using a section whether it be a whole section a half section or a broken out section is so that you can see the inside so you don't have to use hidden lines okay so the drafter would be able to use utilize any section that is suitable for what he or she is doing and um who would have to use either of the above okay all of the above would be the answer all right and here you have examples of different types of the um, sections above, all right? So number seven says the objects that are symmetric can be shown effectively, effectively using this type of section. And if you have a symmetrical object where it's mirrored on both axes, so one side is the same as the other, and it's cut down the middle, um, you can use, as you can see here, a half section and remember we spoke about this section it is not a quarter section it is a half section and if you use the half section and it is symmetrical um, the measurements will be the same going around so each quarter of the um the piece that you take out will be the same or will be um, a duplicate of the one that you took out okay all right so the answer would be a half section Okay, number eight says this type of section is not in direct projection from the view containing the cutting plane, okay? So the cutting plane of this object is this way. As you can see the center line right here, this is the cutting plane. However, um, the view of the object is not in the same cutting plane because it is raised above, okay? So this, this line if you if you wanted it to be in the same cutting plane this line would have to be um lowered to be in line with this but however the person raised it out of the drawing so um it would be a remove section okay so this um type of section the remove section is not um a direct projection of um the cutting plane that you used before okay all right number nine by using a section of a cylindrical mechanical path, a cylindrical a mechanical path is a circular path in 3D, and the drafter should be able to show only one view of the path, okay? The drafter should be only sh um, be able to show one view of the path. And by using the revolve section, um, the drafter can show one view and you would um, understand the whole drawing okay so the reason for this is because the drafter kept um, the sectional cuts inside of the drawing so if you have one view you will be able to um, understand um, all of the sections that are in the drawing okay and that is used um, that is done using a revolve section and the last one in the sectional view the areas that would have been in actual contact with the cutting plane are shown with dash, okay? So these are called sectional linings. Remember we spoke about the shaded areas that are cut? Um, you use sectional linings or hatched linings um, to show the difference between what is cut and what is not cut. So if you have a, a full section right here, cut in half, and what you will see is this part right here, this part, this part, and this part, and you need to um, put sectional lining inside of them using a hatch, an AutoCAD, or with your hand drawings um, to show where the section lines are uh, happening, okay? And in order to do that, you would need to use the sectional lining. So the answer would be sectional lining, all right? So thanks for watching. Those are the 10 questions, and I hope you understood them. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't and you want to ask a question, write it in the comments below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There will be uh, more videos coming. And I hope that you look at the, video, the previous videos. If you have exams coming up, please go through them carefully. And if you did not understand, you can always replay them. Okay, so um, thanks for watching. Hit the bell notification if you haven't already. If you want to receive... Um, a ping on your phone when the new video is released okay all right thanks for watching take care
Bye.